Marquette Shepard here on the red carpet at the Best of Enemies, where I just spoke to Taraji P. Henson about her starring role as the civil rights activist Anne Atwater. Now, the great thing about this film is that single mothers are at the heart of it. Taraji P. Henson is a single mother doing her thing in Hollywood. Anne Atwater was a single woman in the 1970s doing her thing for the people of North Carolina. And one of the producers, a single mother of three, made this film happen. Take a look. And at water. Last night, an electrical fire destroyed East End Elementary School. Mama, where are we gonna go to school now? Mama gonna find you somewhere real nice to go. Not gonna have black kids going to Tim's school. Oh, come on. They're gonna come somewhere. Mississippi putting it down. I'm the hottest round. We gonna be school segregation once and for all. Listen to me. Taraji P. Henson transforms into Anne Atwater, a divorced mother of two who became Durham, North Carolina's go-to activist in the fight for poor people's rights. Tell me about how you prepared for this role. I did a lot of research uh, watching film on her. Film like this one, shot before she died in 2016. And he changed from a Klansman to a Christian. Atwater is outlining the reality that's documented in the film, with Oscar-winning actor Sam Rockwell playing Klansman C.P. Ellis and Golden Globe-winning actress Taraji P. Henson playing Atwater. Would you look at that crazy white man? The two started out as the worst of enemies, but through a forced series of community meetings on school desegregation, Atwater and Ellis ended up becoming friends after this pivotal moment. When the children talked to us and got us together saying that they wanted to go to school with each other, and then we looked at each other like fools. We've been arguing about the wrong thing and hadn't been doing anything to make the school system be better. The time was 1971, nearly 20 years after the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court ruling, when this single mom and the head of Durham's KKK ended the divide. We went into office.